I generally always credit the source material, which is the artist, and that's what we have here a lot. We're working with really talented people who know what they're doing, sound amazing. So to be able to put a great mic in front of them, then translate it through the system to the other side and have it come out the speakers sounding like a realistic representation of that unbelievable amount of talent that's right in front of your face, it's, uh, it's incredible. So these microphones play a huge role to me in making that translation because we're really just translators. We're just trying to get the music out of the person and into the world. So. My name is William Garrett, and we are here at uh, Spotify's New York City recording studio. The studio was built late 2016. It's been an amazing process of being able to sort of stock an existing studio with great vintage gear and new gear uh, that work for this amazing pace that we work out here at Spotify's studio. The R&T was the first uh, mic that came to my attention and what's great is that we work with a different vocalist every session so we need a mic that is incredibly versatile and can work with a huge variety of different vocal tones so since we only have the opportunity to record very quickly it's got to be something great and this really fits that bill. The r, &R one, I, I, I like the name of it because r, r always makes me think of, of relaxation. What is it? Rest and relaxation? Right, rest and relaxation. First of all, the look of this mic. This is the coolest looking mic in the history of the world. And it's nice because it's a powerful and it's a bright ribbon. So it's not perfect for all ribbon um, uses. You know, sometimes you want that, that darker sound and you want a more crunchy sound. But what I find is, is to sneak it on a guitar or something that where it can take the loudness and still get that nice wide variety of frequency response is really great. So we've used it on um, some guitar amps, used it on some acoustic instruments, on mandolins and guitars. Uh, we've used it as a room mic and um, it's got a great sound to it. We've also got a stereo pair of these RN17s, which are fantastic. We've been using them predominantly on acoustic guitars, uh, which they really f drag out this amazing sound, especially from some of our vintage guitars, and, uh, and a lot on overheads. Even for a string section, we might use them as across the room overhead, or, uh, or for drums in a room, but they're fantastic. Now, being a design person, the, the VR2 is a beautiful microphone first, so I could just have it on a stand near me in the control room and be happy with just looking at it. It's really quite, quite beautiful. We've used it on electric guitars. We've used it on some uh, room applications. Um, I like to use it as a far mic from a guitar amp. You may have a couple of mics, a dynamic and maybe a ribbon or something else close on the guitar amp. But this is nice three or four feet away as it picks up a little bit of the room and uh, helps you with a, capture some of the warmth from a distance. In comparing this to other ribbons we've used, I find the clarity and a little bit of the added top end to help a lot. It kind of brings it out of the darkness just a little bit, but not so much that you don't get the ribbon effect. The 4400, it falls into all the applications that an older 414, uh, and I, I grew up, you know, started out in the business using pre 80s, 414s, it sounded amazing. And uh, this is just right there with as good as they are. Has the same functionality. Love the shock mount because it gives you ability to position it in different ways. We used it on vocals the other day. We've used it on guitars, acoustic guitars. We've used it as overheads for strings, uh, electric guitar amps. So it's impressive in, again, in its sonic qualities. There's a certain clarity to all, for me, for all the SE mics, that just there's a sound that's, I mean, this sounds a bit cliche, but it's real. Part of the issue that we always face, is I always say to people, you know, it's our job to get the sound from point A to point B in a super unnatural way. It's all running through electronics, so it's not like you're standing in front of the instrument. You're trying to translate it into a whole new world. And with everything digitally sounding, you know, not as crunchy as it used to sound, but still I used to record on tape and that's a different thing. But uh, it's the, the microphone in combination with the room, the mic preamp, everything else 
really gives you an advantage on translating that sound.